Right, GCSE, GCSE students, now I'm going to talk about a very, very important case study for topic five, coastal conflict and change. You need to know an example of a coastline that is experiencing rapid erosion, what defence has been put in place, and also what conflicts exist. And the great example we use is the Holiness Coast. 60 second case study, or thereabouts. So, first of all, where is it? East coast of, of England, east coast of the UK, and in particular, we're talking three places. Mappleton, Oldborough, and Hornsey. So in the words of Marvin Gaye, Mappleton, what's going on? It's a small village, about 50 properties. It's an area that's experiencing very, very intense erosion, around two meters every year. As a result, the cliff road is around 50 meters from the edge, and this is all because it lies on boulder clay. Very, very soft rock, very important detail. Some of the sides that would greet you if you went to Mackleton, it would look like that. As you can see, the cliff, the clay, very exposed there. So what's been done to help? Well, three main methods in terms of hard engineering, rock armour, and rock groin. In 1991, two million pounds was spent on some Scandinavian really, really hard rock. To last a significant amount of time and in addition to that some soft engineering methods particularly beach replenishment has taken place so that's brilliant isn't it well no it's not unfortunately further down the coast at Oldborough there's a bit of an issue as a result the people are really really unhappy Oldborough has no coastal defences at all. Two million pounds plus has been spent in Mappleton, zero has been spent on Oldborough. Some residents of Oldborough actually believe, because of longshore drift, after the groin at Mappleton, it's taken the sediment away, exposing the cliffs, leaving them very, very vulnerable to erosion. Not good. Further up the coast is Hornsey, and I'm sure you're thinking, are they having the same sort of problems? Well, actually, no. Hornsea benefits from an extensive array of hard engineering methods. So for example, they've got a concrete seawall, they've got timber groins, and due to the nature of the timber groins and the concrete seawall, there's an ongoing program of maintenance to keep the level, keep the, the defences in place. Furthermore, they've built stone gabions and steel revetments, all to protect the caravan park very, very significant levels of protection at Hornsey. So another key part of this case study is the conflict. Who is in conflict? Well, three key conflicts you can mention in your exam. First of all, the Oldbury residents, very, very unhappy. They feel their settlement is under extreme pressure, extreme threat from the sea because of the groins further up the coast at Mappleton. People are antique here. Not very happy at all. Also, given the amount of money spent along the Holding House Coast, this money has been spent through local government, local council, as a result of council taxes paid in the East Riding and Hull area all along the Holding House Coast. So, the likes of Tia Drop, who lives in Hull, really, really upset. Her, her taxes, instead of being spent on local schools and hospitals in the Hull area, a proportion of that has been spent on the coastal defences. And then finally, business owners in places like Hornsey, like Roland Soup, who owns a cafe. He's very unhappy. The seawall, yes, it protects the coast, but it's very ugly. It's put a lot of tourists off. And also, because of the nature of the seawall, it's obstructed some of the businesses along the seafront. That's had a massive impact on passing trade and tourist numbers. So, all in all, three examples of groups in conflict there. Finally, just to wrap this up, please remember your specific detail, remember the key words, remember things like Mapleton, 1991, two million pounds. Remember the key terms like hard engineering, soft engineering, groins, rock armor, revetments, all those things, happy days.